Tucson Electric Power is an electric utility company serving southern Arizona in the United States. It is a subsidiary of Fortis, which announced its acquisition of parent company UNS Energy in 2013. Kino Veterans Memorial Stadium, a baseball stadium on Tucson's south side, was once named Tucson Electric Park for TEP. Topic History of Tucson Electric Power According to historian David Layton, of the Arizona Daily Star newspaper, around 1882, Royal A. Johnson started a light plant in Tucson in order to replace Tucson's oil lamps with electric lights. His new idea received little support and his plant went belly up after a couple years. Frank E. Red Russell, an employee of the Western Union Telegraph Co., in Tucson, on occasion did repairs on the Arctic Ice Works, an ice plant that was also owned by Johnson and learned of the failed light plant a few years earlier. This association with Johnson sparked an interest in lighting Tucson. In 1892, Russell was one of a group of individuals that came together to form the Tucson Electric Light and Power Co., which was located at 116 to 120 N Church Street, now Church Avenue. Russell was named the first manager operator of this new firm and was paid $40 a month. Four years later, the company purchased the Tucson Gas Company, and by 1901, it was known as the Tucson Gas, Electric Light and Power Co. In 1904 the generating facilities for the Tucson Gas, Electric Light and Power Co. were relocated to West 6th Street, across from the Russell family home at 306 West 6th Street. This new site would later serve as Tucson Electric Power Co.'s headquarters, from 1967 to 1999. In 1979, the gas operations were sold to Southwest Gas. Note, the new Tucson Electric Power headquarters at 88 E Broadway sits on land that was part of the ground that Russell as a Tucson city councilman and others obtained back in 1899. Rooftop solar rates For customers with rooftop solar panels who have a system to store excess energy, TEP proposed new rates with the Arizona Corporation Commission in 2018. The commissioners could incorporate an order made by an administrative law judge in April 2018 which recommended a special rate for solar customers who have home battery storage systems. <laughs> 